What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Empire Motor Club vlog. Today is going to be part two of the C63 Black Series AMG build. Now, we are back at TGA, yes, T -Bop, Top Gear Auto Service, is because they have finished all the installation for the C63 Black Series, and we are gonna go check it out. I will take you guys in depth of all the work they have done, and then we're gonna go to the dyno. So let's go check this out. So before we get into the details and show you guys all the cool modifications, I want to introduce you guys to the boss man here, Leo Albany. So if you guys have any questions regarding car modifications, or if you want to do any work or even service, you guys can find him. Just how is that, Albany? Uh, Sunny, good. Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 So first, let me introduce you guys to the Super Sprint long tube headers. I'm standing right below it. So you guys come around right here. I put a light up there already so you can actually see the long tube headers where my hand is right here. This is where the original primary cats were. So the Super Sprint long tube headers actually made up right here with the four into one merge collector into the Super Sprint center pipes. They fitted a cat back here instead of fitting the cat around this section. Uh, they wanted the airflow to be a little longer, it is better performance. And then they put the cat in the center section. It is interesting because it did not directly mate up to the Akrapovich center pipes. The center pipes were actually a little bit longer, so TGAS, they had to modify this area and they had to weld it together and uh, kind of just play around with the angles. So as you can tell, they did a beautiful job right here. Back here, Obviously, we did not change anything. It is still the rare section of the Akrapovich. I personally like the sound of the Akrapovich evolution system. And uh, we'll see how it is after we start her up. But since I'm back here, I do see the rare toe links. Um, this obviously will provide better grip and uh, better suspension handling. Because given that we have more load and more power, let's drop the car down and check out the other mods. Before I open the hood, Gotta check this out. We got carbon fiber nostrils now. Check this out. It's sexy, so sexy. All right, I'm gonna open the hood now. This is the Rentec carbon fiber intake box with the new MAF sensors. And you can't see the throttle body, but it is bigger. Trust me, it's there. And also we have the front strut bar, and this is also in carbon fiber, which looks really, really cool. They already installed the ECU, so what do you say, guys? Start the engine up? Yeah? Let's do this. All right, guys. Magic. Let's rev it. You guys go back there. I'll rev it. You hear that? That's fucking loud. It's still like a civilized loud. It's not like a overbearing, like 
tin canister rumble loud. It's it's like a it's like a refined beast. Let's go to CPA. Let's take a little drive. I'll see you guys on the road. So after leaving T-Ball, TGAS last night, I parked the C63 Black Series back at the EMC studio. I did not want to take it home because Dizzy does not know anything about the full bolt-on mods. So we're keeping her out of the loop until she's ready to come back to the vlog and we're gonna surprise her and get her reaction. So before we go to CPA and get the dyno done and see how much power we have increased and how much torque we have increased, let's take a look at some of the EMC merchandise because a lot of the EMC and Empire Racing gear is about to be all sold out. So please, go hit the link below and go get yours now before everything is gone. Now, let's go start up the C63 cold start. You wanna hear how this bad boy sounds? Let's do it. They're teaching me how to use the dyno jet on my car. It's a little bit nerve wracking. I don't want to fuck anything up. But uh, it's kind of cool that they're letting me do this. Hey, that's why CPA is awesome. Let's take a look at the numbers now. I got good news for you guys. Check this out. We got about 453, about 56.8 kg. Now, there's two other numbers here, but let me explain. This is my first time doing a dyno, so I completely fucked it up. I was too much of a pussy. I did not step on the throttle hard enough, but I wanted to show you guys what happens when you fuck up a dyno or what happens when you don't do it correctly. And then the boss, Xiao He, uh, he did it two or three times to make sure and to confirm the correct numbers. So here are the correct numbers. We gained about 34 horsepower at the rear wheel. The correct numbers are 487.7 rear wheel horsepower. And this is 631.95 Newton meters, which equals to 63.195 kg of torque. I did not do so well, <laughs> so that kind of bothered me a little bit. I only gained like 1.5 horsepower here, and uh, the torque gained about like 30. So as you can tell from the graph, mine was green. It was pretty much the same as the red, and then I kind of maybe stomped on the accelerator a little harder, and then it kind of leveled off because I let the accelerator go, and I was fumbling with the switches, and it was roughly the same. So they were kind of worried. They thought it might have been an ECU problem, but the correct numbers are the blue line, which is very healthy. It is a pretty big gain. Entire rev range. It tells us all the products that I got for the C63 Black Series. It equates to about 33 rear wheel horsepower. Based on the dyno, we saw a significant jump for a naturally aspirated car. Usually naturally aspirated cars, I mean, if you gain like 3%, 5%, that's already really, really amazing. And I'm talking about rear wheel horsepower, 3 to 5%. But it seems like we gain about 7 to 8% rear wheel horsepower based on these mods. I have a feeling if I delete the cats, I will probably gain another 5 to 10 horsepower at the wheels. But I don't want to do that. This is Dizzy's daily driver. Rensec and Super Sprint really put their money where their mouth is. I really, really think that these are significant gains on a naturally aspirated car. Big ups to Rentec, big ups to Super Sprint. Thank you guys for doing an amazing job on all these products. And uh, their links are down below, so any of you W204 guys 
C63 guys that are interested in gaining some naturally aspirated power and not doing any superchargers, go to Rentec and Super Sprint. So, let's get Dizzy's reactions on the next one.